Have you guys seen a Borzoi dog before? Because for the last month or so, a very popular meme using this sound. Didn't do it for you. Didn't do it for you. Has become the theme song for Borzois all around the planet. And I think it's actually hilarious. Whether you love it or you're sick of the tune right now, I am going to take that meme and bring it into the graphic design world by creating a Borzoi poster. Because man, these Borzois need more love. So some of the characteristics of a Borzoi dog is it's basically, it's got this long snout, so to speak. And I think when people sort of zoom these like wide angle shots and just basically expand the nose even more, that's what makes it so much more funny, especially with that sound attached to it. So we might go around TikTok or browse Unsplash images and find a couple of pictures of Borzois and we'll see what kind of poster we can come up with. Okay, so we're in Photoshop now and we've just dropped in a screenshot of one of those Borzois we took from the TikTok. We're also going to drag in a couple of other shots that we got from Unsplash. I kind of like this one. Oh, the lighting is just amazing and the way that it's uh, contrasting against the black background, super cool, right? So we're going to put that maybe as our lead background image and then I want to kind of get this Borzoi peeking down there and then what we can do is before we put it into place, let's remove the background from this image and done <laughs> and now so we've got a mask on that so we're just going to paint out the little bits that we don't need the little artifacts anyways i'm gonna have that borzoi popping out of that corner let's drag in another borzoi image i like this one but this one i'm going to do something a little bit different to it cut out the borzoi from that image as well so i want the main text of this poster to be didn't i do it for you <laughs> and we're going to find a nice looking typeface for that that one's kind of cool I'm gonna make it green for now, just so it stands out a little bit. Didn't I text for you? No, that's not what I was typing. Didn't I do it? Let's do another line. Let's, let's do Borzoi. Hear me out on this. We're gonna make Borzoi really big on the poster. And then didn't I do it for you is gonna be like the subtitle. So I want the poster to feel a little silly goofy. So we need to find a, a silly goofy kind of typeface. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. I like the vibe that this one's giving me right now. I'm gonna try and get in the zone now. I want to drop for you down to the next le next line because it's kind of like because it feels like that's how it's sung. Like, did not do it for you. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to Chat GPT to get some placeholder text, just so we're not stuck with the usual lorem ipsum. Can you write me a short paragraph about Borzoi dogs? Russian wolfhounds? Whoa, okay, I'm actually learning stuff here. <laughs> Thanks, ChatGPT. Let's take that and paste in our new body copy. Make it super small. I'm gonna left align everything because we read from left to right. I want to change this now to actually left align justified. Yeah. And then I wanna also make sure that we don't get these hyphens happening at the end of words. So we're gonna have to jump into paragraph and get rid of the hyphenate. Yeah, that's better. Now we've got this nice little body copy text. I don't like it altogether like that. I don't think people have that much of an attention span to be reading paragraphs like that. So we're gonna split it into two. just like it with this one Borzoi, right? Let's see what we can do here. All right, I got it. We're going to add in everyone's favorite four point stars, but we're going to be a little bit edgy. We're going to warp them diagonally. Ooh. And we got this wacky set of stars. I'm also thinking of putting in some reading lines so people follow this certain path of how to actually read the poster. I also kind of like this because it's framing the Borzoi's head, which is a, a bit of an unintentional thing, but it kind of works. All right, sorry about that, but I took a little break and I'm back now. I did the rest of the poster off camera and I'm kind of happy with where it is. I really thought that I was going to incorporate more Borzois into the image, but it ended up being just better with this one image. And yeah, I like the simplicity of it and I hope you do too. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more design videos like this one, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It's getting late now, so I'm a bit more quiet while recording. But anyways, you guys, if you'd like to also join in and share some of your design work or would like to get involved in a fun and wholesome community, I would highly suggest you join the Discord server as well. And I know I say it a lot, but it really is the best way for you to stay up to date with all things Squishyverse. Anyways, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Just a side note, you can also check out the full high-res version of this poster on the Discord server as well. So that might actually be another reason to join. Just saying. Okay, bye for real.